Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess and this is a new video. Today we're going to be doing my hair. Remember how I told you guys I'm going to have more hair content? Well, it's here. We're doing my hair. And uh, yeah, so I um, just washed my hair in these twists. I had basically put in conditioner a bit of a while ago and just washed it out basically. And uh, now we're just gonna do a braid out because I haven't done a braid out in time and I feel like that would be kind of cool to do. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let me just talk you through the process real quick. My hair is damp right now and um, then so I'm just gonna be putting them into twists like this and then wrapping them up maybe and leaving them overnight to dry. We'll see what it looks like in the morning. The products that I'm gonna be using are a leave-in conditioner, Aunt Jackie's. I like it, I use it sometimes, but honestly, it's important to have good products, but like, I still think your hair can grow without the best products, like the most expensive products at least. So after my leave-in conditioner, I'ma just put in some oil. So this is just the Do Grow Mega Thick Growth Oil. The reason I bought this was because of some YouTuber I forgot, but like I bought it a while ago and I just really haven't been using it that much, so I kind of need to get on that and use it. I'm gonna be using castor oil, it's a bit thicker, um, on top of the, mega thick thing just a bit this it's not the right bottle because the bottle that it was in just like wasn't good so i transferred it for the base i like to use this molding gel wax it's actually meant for dreads but i bought it and um i like it like it, i like it for the base and it feels good and everything so I've, i'll be using that as well so that's the plan i'm gonna get right into this because i'm not trying to spend the whole day doing my hair and i'm just gonna be watching some tv so i'll be facing this side but um yeah let's get into it we're gonna hop right in on this side. I've decided to switch up my camera angle so you guys can see better. How I'm gonna do it is I have my hair. I don't want this to take too long. I have other things to do in my day, so I'm gonna try and make this as quick as possible. I'm gonna just get some leave-in conditioner. And I like to focus this mainly on the ends of my hair, and then I work it up. And I just really use my fingers mainly to just kind of detangle go through and yeah I've just really worked that in massage that in you really just you can't just stop it on there you need to really work it in so after that I'm gonna go in with some of this oil I'm gonna just put some on my fingers and I'm gonna try and put that into my scalp just to moisturize it a bit and then I just work it down again same thing now I want a bit like a thicker oil so I'm gonna get my castor oil this is just I can tell it's thicker and I'm gonna concentrate this on the ends ski when that is done I am gonna I remember how I said don't use a comb that much I'm telling you don't use a comb that much but when you are doing a braid out twist out whatever your hair can't be can't have knots because then you can't separate it when it's done so I just take a very wide tooth comb and work not a lot, don't be doing too much. Just really be careful. Yeah. Just like go at it just a bit. And you can tell like if your hair is like breaking or anything, stop and then use your fingers. But right now I'm feeling that it's okay. That's enough. I don't need to do much more. Now finally, when I'm ready to twist it up, I'm gonna take some of my gel wax thingy and just put it in my fingers and put it at the base here by the way have you guys listened to tom mish's new album i'm gonna link it down below because it's so good like if y'all are not on that music what are you doing what are you doing in your life um yeah <laughs> go check it out i've put that again on the base just to get like the smaller hairs in once that is done i'm gonna use a bit i've never used an um, eco styler gel for this but i'm gonna try and see if it makes the braid out a bit more sleek than it usually is so I'm gonna just get a bit and just like work it in I don't want too much like you want this stuff to dry remember <laughs> I hate do you guys know that when you have like hair and then like when you do a braid out and then in the morning you're trying to take it out but it's not dry that is the worst thing ever so now it's moisturized everything what I'm gonna do is just braid it up So 
So when I get to the end, I always struggle this a bit, but I really try to braid it all the way. So then I take a bit of I take a bit of the gel to just really seal that in. I'm gonna just get the end and wrap it around. So basically I've made like a loop here and I've just wrapped the end back up the hair so that the, the ends are stretched out and like wrapped again so that when I take it out, you'll see tomorrow. We'll see if this works. I've never actually done it in this specific way before, but you know, there's a time for everything. And I'm sorry, this guy is cutting grass again, which is just perfect for me. So hi guys, um, I've done, I'm done with this side, so I'm doing this side right now, but I don't want to be filming this whole thing and it's kind of boring for you guys to watch anyway, so I'm gonna just come back when I have uh, one or two left, um, yeah, so see you there, I'm really, I'm feeling it, like I'm feeling it, I'll, anyway, we'll talk, we'll talk. <sighs> so hi guys, I've come to the last final one that I need to do, leave-in conditioner, I'm gonna go in with my oil. And I get my castor oil. Now I'm gonna take some of this molding gel and just put it like that. It just smooths it down. You see, it looks already shiny. Ugh. Health, health. <laughs> then we put some eco gel on the ends and we're ready to braid it up twist it up a yeah twist it up i think i'm done i am done that was a lot quicker than i thought like i thought i was gonna take time with this thing when i go to bed i'm gonna wrap it up and we'll be back to see what it looks like when i take them out Hi guys, so um, it's actually two days later, so I did I filmed the first part on Saturday and it's Monday today and um, I woke up and I'm gonna take out these to twist, but it's really not sunny, so It's a bit of a problem for my lighting, but let's just hope um, this video stuff turns out fine So here we go. The twists are still fine. They're still intact. Of course, they're not as shiny as they were on the first day But that's okay. So let's get into this and take these out. I'm super excited At least I'm a hot. I'm almost 100% sure they're dry Like if they weren't dry, that would be a bit of an issue. Just carefully carefully unravel We don't want too much frizz. Now. I just need to separate <laughs> This is the part that gets me. Hold your breath ladies and gentlemen See, this is why I wrapped the ends. Do you see that? Spring in a curl. <laughs> what? I'm gonna go pick at this real quick and come back and see if I like it any more than I like it right now. Like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna be back, I'm gonna be right back. What I did is I pinned up some of my hair here so that it can like fall down a bit more. And I like picked at the base just to lift it up a bit but yeah <laughs> there it is i don't know i i doesn't it doesn't look that good on camera i don't mind it in real life hold up like this pin is not working for me i don't really like it i don't even know what it looks like from the back watch it look like crap <laughs> maybe i can do that shake it up a bit do I like it? Yeah. I don't dislike it. 
Um, hi, so I'm going out today and um, this is what I'm going to go out with. Basically, I decided to come back and like just show you what this looks like now. I think the sun has come up a bit more so the lighting might be a bit better. I'm just wearing a turtleneck because it's a bit cold um, with this chain outside and um, the afro so basically my son finally came out which means we have good lighting again um and yeah this is the braid out twist out whatever you want to call it i like it somehow i mean um it's okay um it definitely wasn't a fail but it's also not something that i'd wear every day but for once in a while i think it's cool i'm gonna just you know leave it and um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I told you guys there's more hair content coming soon. Here it is. There's more content coming even sooner. So <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're a guy and this isn't your type of video, don't worry about it. I have other things that are not about hair on my channel that are gonna be coming, vlogs, challenges, whatever. So you can subscribe too if you're watching this. And yeah, have a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.